Hey YouTube, uh, let's see, it's tutorial region once more, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to go ahead and set up your own TeamSpeak 3 server. So first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and type in TeamSpeak 3 in uh, Google here, and uh, go ahead and go to the download page of TeamSpeak.com. Scroll down a little bit, you'll go ahead and find um, server 32-bit or server 64-bit whichever one you're using um, and go ahead and go download that it's gonna ask you to uh, prove this or agree to their terms and go ahead and prove that and click no thanks taken to download go ahead and easily download the package that they go ahead and give you and that should be all set for that and then go ahead and open up go ahead and drag the main folder onto your desktop or anywhere where you're gonna host this and you should see a numerous amount of files in there that makes that really doesn't need to be uh, described yet first thing you're gonna want to do is go ahead and go into your LAN uh, IP or your router configuration settings and go ahead and enter virtual servers and of course everyone's gonna be different but this is gonna be mine Go ahead and delete these for now. And delete. All right. These would be both for now. So right here, I have a document that listing that lists all the TeamSpeak ports. I will go ahead and put these ports into the um, to the description down below but first off I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna show you guys how to make sure you have your private IP address go ahead and open up the command prompt and type in IP config I'll go ahead and give you an IP address 192.2.3 would be mine so go ahead and enter that TeamSpeak 3 uses three ports so go ahead and open up three ports Okay front of the list you go ahead and enter the three ports UDP would be the first one for 9987 the second team speak port would be 3033 with TCP access And the final one will be 1001 with TCP access. Should be UDP, TCP, D, TCP. Give it whatever description that you want and go ahead and apply changes. And you just port forward your TeamSpeak 3 server. Without that, nobody will be able to connect to your um, your TeamSpeak 3 server server externally. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close down my current instance of TeamSpeak 3, and you're gonna go ahead and click on TeamSpeak 3 server underscore win32.exe, or if you were using 64, go ahead and click on that one. Now, once you log, once you click that, it's going to give you a server admin token, which you're going to want to copy. That is really a one-time thing, and this will be allowing you to have access into your server. Next thing you're going to want to do is type in what is my IP into uh, into Google. And grab your IP address, of course, and open up TeamSpeak 3. quickly load up all the plugins that I have and go ahead and connect type in your TeamSpeak address and type in your nickname and you'll connect to your server and go ahead and enter in your privilege key that you just recently grabbed and mine said valid if you saw that it gave me an invalid code so that's pretty much saying I'm not allowed to enter my server which is pretty bad and don't know why it didn't let me oh because I didn't grab everything and 
and now I have server admin. So that was pretty much basically allowing you to set up your server and allowing anybody else to connect to your server, of course, if you give out that IP. Thank you for watching, and I'll continue to make more videos on creating TeamSpeak 3 servers. Thank you.